YouTube watchers. My name is Gia Scott Heron, or more commonly known as Miss G or Miss Gia when I step to the mic. I am a spoken word artist, singer, rapper, um, pretty much whatever medium that I need to get my expression and my message across, because um, that's what's really important is the message. Choosing to be an artist um, was difficult. It wasn't my original choice. Um, as an occupation or as a life's pursuit. When I was a child, I actually wanted to be an attorney because um, I was the only child and I argued my way in and out of many things and I you know, was told I was rather good at arguing, <laughs> especially for being so young. And that worked for me until I was about junior high, high school, and English teachers, I started getting um, a lot of very uh, wonderful and in influential English teachers that um, kind of pushed me in that direction. When the LA riots hit in 1992, that's when I wrote my very first poem called World War III. The earliest influences that I have besides my father, Gil Scott Heron, who's an obvious one, because he was always playing in the house, his albums, um, his songs, uh, his poetry. When I went to see him live, I was always hearing his monologues. So a lot of that influenced me um, as an artist and as a person. But Maya Angelou, Audre Lorde, uh, Langston Hughes, Nikki Giovanni as well, uh, Angela Davis and Bell Hooks, even though they may not be quote unquote spoken word artists, they were still speaking a message. You know, women who empowered me to just speak my truth. I always try to seek truth, no matter how well she may hide herself, I always try to seek her out and ingest that, inculcate it, and then alchemize it into something that other people, the population, can digest. You know, like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I try to find that medicine. For me, medicine is truth. And then I try to use that, that truth, that medicine, and disseminate it amongst the people because it's important that we all get that truth. Truth resonates with our innermost being and it helps uplift us and bring us, transcends us to the next level. So yeah, I'm really excited about the project I'm currently working on. I'm working on my second album, my sophomore album, which is going to be entitled The Difference um, because it's definitely um, a CD that I'm using to try to differentiate myself from other artists, um, especially my dad, my pops, Gil Scott Heron. Um, I want to show folks that though I may come from him, I'm not like a clone of him. And I want to show, you know, how I'm similar and at the same time unique um, in terms of my delivery, my message, um, and the ideas that I'm trying to get across. I think the best advice that I could offer anyone that's choosing to, whether they're choosing to be an artist or, or whatever their passion is that they intend to pursue as an individual is to keep at it. Um, don't ever let self-doubt or, you know, the words of others uh, deter you from what you feel your true calling is. There is no triumph if you don't try. The only way you fail is if you don't try in the first place. Because if you fail at something, if you try and fail, at least you've succeeded at being brave enough to try. <laughs> I'm not going to promise you a smooth, you know, ride with no turbulence. You know, there's going to be some turbulence. But it's not, it's not how you fall, it's what you do after you fall. Do you get up and dust yourself off or do you just lay there and, and pity yourself and throw a pity party? No. You, you, I mean, if it's something that you're really um, passionate about, something that you love doing, something you can't imagine your life without, keep at it. Keep doing what you do. That's the best advice I could give anyone. At the end of the day, when I'm six feet under, I just want people to remember my message. Like I remember my dad always saying, work for peace and be careful where you get your information from. Like, you don't even have to remember that it was me that said it, as long as you remember what was said and what's, what rang true for you. Um, that's the legacy I want.